All you folks back on the boss man show here with friend of the show, my man Dante Jackson, Grambling State in the building, GSU in the building. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? I'm doing well, man. Thanks for having me on your show. I appreciate it. Anytime, brother. Hey, man, let me ask you. But first of all, congrats on your extension, my brother. That's always important in this business to get them extensions, man. So, how did it make you feel, my brother, when they said, hey, we're going to sign you up a little bit more, my guy? I mean, it makes you feel good, man, because, you know, it's, it's always the other side. So, you know, you definitely don't want to be on the other side of the ball game. But, you know, man, it's great, man. You know, just a lot of credit to the hard work that, you know, myself, the coaches, the players, you know, support staff, everybody put put in. And, you know, just, you know, trying to make sure we can keep building this program to be basically one of the best HBCU programs in the country. You're definitely doing there, Brother Dante. And, man, I can't believe you've been there six years already, brother. Can you keep – it's like that for you too, man? <laughs> Man, that's crazy, man. Sometimes I uh gotta, you know, kind of just, just, just kind of guess recap, you know, and 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 think about the guys, man, that that they came through, and it's just different, you know. I, as long as I've been anywhere as a head coach, you know, I was uh, four years at Central, three years at Stillman, now you know, just got six years under my belt here. So, you know, time is rolling, man. Time is flying. I guess they say, uh, when well, you having fun, time flies. <laughs> No doubt. What I thought, brother Dante, man, I watched from afar. You built this thing the right way, and you have a system. You you know what you're looking for. You you know how you're gonna do things. I feel like by you been ahead, cause your third head coaching job, man. You are you already know what you're gonna do, not gonna do, and you it where you've moved on up, man. So I feel like you know how how you do it, man. You have your you have your system in place. How you gonna do things? I feel like that helps too. And guys know where you've been. You've been a, you've been a winner. I, I appreciate that. I mean. You know, I pride myself on that, man. You know, uh, as a player, you know, I won basketball games. As an assistant coach, you know, we won. Well, how can I say? As a player, we won basketball games and championships. As an assistant coach, we won basketball and championships. And as a head coach, get head coach, we don't won basketball games and championships. So, you know, I pride myself on winning, man. You know, it's, it's tough, you know, in this business because it, it's hard, man. You, it, it's not an easy business. You know, you, you're depending on 18 to 23 year olds to do right and act right. And, you know, yeah. trying to get them the right leadership, the right mentorship to help them grow in the process. So, you know, it, it's, it's bigger than basketball for us, but you know, it, it's been great to win the games here. It's been great to be looked at as a, as a winner, but my thing is we graduate 95% of our guys, man. So that's the most important part for me, you know, guys come in this program, whether it's, Two years, three years, four years, five years, they gonna walk away with a degree. Yeah, brother Dante, that's what's important because when you see that grambling state basically that, on what this school is meant to nationally, HBCUs, what it's done nationally, and the things that it's done for winning, when you have that grambling degree, someone's gonna look at you a little harder. Oh, you want the grambling? That's a historic university, historic place. But how about just have that that the name value and the brand value of grambling? Or a young man with a degree or whatever it is, it takes well, us I, so far. I, I tell people all the time, you know, this, you know, our alums are the are some of the best in the country. You know, I, I put our alums up against any alum on our base in the country. And just to be totally honest, yeah, you know, I had a guy, you know, some of my players and left off, and as soon as they walk in places, they see Grambling, they they hire. <laughs> you know, it's it's no if no ends, no buts. But because you know, there's just a lot of history behind this name, and it's just this this name of Grambling means a lot. And you know, our the people that walked this campus before us and a lot of leadership that came and you know, man, you you gotta carry it on your shoulders and you gotta make sure you represent the right way. You no know, doubt it's very unique. Like I saw some people before so many people off the air before, like you have Rust and Louisiana take down the street, you all with Grambling over here, and it's just such a cool environment for you all. That college environment you all have, you all has that partnership down there with those guys, man. So let's talk about that community that you all have right there, right there with Rustin and Grambling, the highest fun for the kids who come down there. It is it is great that you know, just in the community, it's just it's just a phenomenal community, man. Just to have Rustin and Grambling and the kids intermingling on campus, off campus, on Rustin, on La Tech campus, on our campus. And that's even to the fact that, you know, our coaching staff's getting together with La Tech coaching staffs and, and growing. You know, to be totally honest, hey, my my former top assistant is the top assistant at La Tech now, just because of the relationships that was built over the time, because just our proximity 
with the coaching staff. So it's just great. You know, it's, it's a great environment, great place to be. You know, like I always tell our guys, man, if you really want to work on being the best basketball player, being the best person you can be, this is a great location because at the end of the day, it's not a lot of things to do, but it's a lot of things you can do for yourself to grow. No doubt. That's what I like about a lot of school like Grandpa. Like you come like, it's about work. It's not yep. about fun and play. And like I said, I'll be honest that I was messed up, Dante. On all days of Tennessee State, I was back home in Atlanta on the AUC. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie about that. On all days, I was back home in Atlanta at the AUC chilling. But right. you, can't, you can't do that in Grambling. If you gotta be that put in the work all the time, that's why I, I see I could have been better, but I want to go hang out too down the A. So, but, but Graham, but that ain't what you're gonna do. You're gonna be there to work, just education, and, and be a better person and a, and a better craft. Just, just, just get your work on you. Cause yeah. I feel like we go to a place like Graham McCoss, not secluded, but it's little, not much to do. You can really grow more than what, you know, going to a city per se than, you know, like doing, doing, I, I, I did, unfortunately. Yeah, hey, listen, man, that AUC is a little different, you know? Being <laughs> 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 right there on the on the south side of Atlanta, man, it's a little different. It's definitely a little different than being here in Graham. <laughs> you got that right, my good brother. And let me ask you this, man. Uh, you went on that trip to Puerto Rico, man. Got some good experience for your guys. So talk about that. Good and getting to sit and see your get a look at your guys, kind of see what you have, and then you use this time before November to kind of adjust and, and recalibrate what you want to do. If you had in this and the far apart this year. It, it was actually great, incredible experience, and. It was an incredible experience. Basketball wise, it was my first time doing a foreign tour and you know, my coaching staff first time, actually first time for Grambling State University doing a foreign tour in general. But it, it was just great because you got a chance to watch those guys build different type of bonds and relationships earlier than 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 later. So, you know, they get a chance to be on the beach, they get a chance to run around and you go paddle board and they get a chance to, you know, zip line, they get a chance to ATV and do different things and just building a, a a chemistry without, at times, being forced. Or, you know, you putting them in the room and making them get to know each other. Or they're going to know each other on a total different bond being over there. And then, you know, just to go out there and play some games and kind of have a – I you know, I knew I had an idea of what we had, but to be able to see where we can get better at, you know, what guys can really do under pressure, where guys can perform at, and, you know, just sometimes what buttons I might have to push to – put get somebody else to be able to be their best player. No doubt. It was cool out Puerto Rico fans, listeners. You don't need a passport for Puerto Rico. It's U.S. US territory. So you don't have to worry yeah. about no passports, all that kind of stuff. It's U.S. territory. You can go over there easy. <laughs> easy, definitely, definitely. And, and that was one of the things that, that we looked at because we were looking at uh, going to the Bahamas and playing one year, but it was so much, you know, trying to get these passports together in such a short period of time. And coming off of COVID, passports ain't like they used to be. You know, there's, you might take a little a little time to get a passport between three to four months. And if you know, with us recruiting kids and getting them on campus and trying to get these guys together, the last thing you're trying to do is worry about a passport. I'm like, man, I know you got an ID. We're going to be all right with just that ID. You got that right. And so let's kind of ask you this, man. Uh, who are some guys in, in Puerto Rico who stood out for you that you're looking forward to some big things for you this year, man? Well, you know, listen, Jordan Smith played absolutely incredible in Puerto Rico. Uh, had some really big games for us. One game's about 26 to 12 points. And Jordan Smith also was, you know, to me, he would have been player of the tournament if he didn't get hurt in the, in the swag championship game. So you turn around and you look at him. He was all tournament, didn't play in the championship game, played two games, still made all tournament. And I just look at George Smith. He's going to be a integral part of what we do. And then it was just great to see Contavious Dozier, a kid that we put a lot of effort in and recruiting and top 20 Juco player to – you know, he could have picked a lot of schools throughout the country and decided to come to Grambling just because of relationships with the coaches and relationships with his coaching staff. And I give Coach Tarver at Gaston State a lot of credit, man, because, you know, he definitely helped us out a lot with recruiting him. But he got out there, averaged over 20 points a game. He led junior college in scoring. So it translated right to us, which I figured it would because, you know, hey, kids bucket. It is what it is. And, you know, we had, had Tremichael Bowden play really well and then Jalen Johnson and John Akun. I mean, just two big guys that really played well. So I'm, I'm really happy about our team. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how we can put it all together and keep growing. No doubt. And the main thing is staying healthy. And, yes. and to talk about those workouts, man, in the summertime about 
especially in Louisiana, man. It's similar heat to Atlanta, but not quite. But you're getting out there. You're getting stronger. They talk about how important is they have a strength coach who can get these guys really, really prepared for that fall spring semester grind that's coming up starting November 6th. Listen, it's, 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 it's highly important. You know, we were out here. You know, Coach Andy had our guys going from the moment they walked on campus June 26. He was ready. He got everybody physicals, got everybody, you know, sickle cell test and all the right stuff to do. And from that point on, we were rolling. Coach Andy had them guys two times a day getting things done, you know, lifting, you know, running, conditioning. We were doing individual workouts, got to some team workouts. And it was just great to see those guys grinding. And the thing that I liked about it was it was great to see them grinding and them grinding, pushing each other in a positive manner. So, like, that's that, you know, because sometimes you can get a little people who get a little frustrated and want to have a whole bunch of woofing contests, but sometimes it ain't about woofing, baby. It's about just putting the work in. And that was just the good thing about this group. They were just putting the work in, and, and I was proud of them on that end of it. And I'll say this, this is, so you said it's so important, but Dante, two of my four years at Tennessee State, my best teams were the teams where we push each other. You know, the teams where we had to have coaching to effort and energy. It was yeah. like, we was both in the gym on our own. It wasn't like we was, you know, getting pushed by Coach Si. It wasn't like that. It was like we was actually on our own. Dude. So you, I feel like I already, man, I hear that. I already, you already suffer since because, I mean, I know how with two years of when I, we didn't do that stuff, we had a bad years. So yeah, your guys are pushing each other already, man. You got Coach Energy and Effort, man. You already ahead of the game. But that's, that's the one thing I always tell them, man. It, player-led teams win. You know, if you got to worry about the coach leading you, then it's going to be a tough situation. But when the player's going to lead, you know, it is what it is. You know, I, I use an example of, like, Cam Christian. You know, he led us in taking charges last year. And, you know, we went out there and, you know, one day a guy didn't take a charge. Well, the whole team going to take charges then because if the best player ain't going to take them, ain't nobody going to take them. And that's, you know, everybody got to sacrifice for the good and winning. So if you want to win, everybody sacrifice. No doubt. And them little things like the charges, those free throw blockouts, those 50, 50, 50 balls hustling on the floor, man. All those little things matter. Setting a proper screen, not passing screen, screen away lazily. You know, all those small details that all these sometimes young guys realize, like, man, you do, they really affect winning. And it, it might not look on the scoreboard right away, but it affected something. We could have done something better and got an extra basket or better shot. Could have won a game if you lose, lose a, a close game. And we always talk about multiple effort, multiple efforts. You know, if you're not, if, if you if you only want to give one effort, then you're gonna come out of the game. If you're willing to give multiple efforts, you can stay in the game. And I'm a firm believer. Like I tell guys, you know, everybody, you know, I got a lot of inner city guys from all over. You know, whether they from Louisiana or Texas, we try to hit that hard. Or they from the Midwest. I got a little mid. I'm from Milwaukee, so I got a Midwest, you know, connections throughout the country. But I'm just like, hey man, everybody from the city, everybody say they tough. But the tough people do the tough things. <laughs> like It's tough to take a charge. It's tough to dive on the floor. It's tough to go get an offensive rebound. It's tough to go box out. It's tough to be told sometimes your job ain't to score. It's the screen and get him the ball so he going to score. But guess what? If he get two people on him, he going to drop it off to you so you can score. But those are the tough plays that, you know, at times we got to go make because winners find a way to win. You got there, right? It, it winning takes everybody. And I think it's great you do that because I feel like that too, Coach Don Jackson. Like, I remember in high school, we had that problem where, where, where nobody roles were really defined. Yeah. They were under stupid. Yeah. I feel like when you defined on roles early, you a screener, you a, you a, you a three and D guy, you in the corner. I think that you know, puts everybody on those front holes saying, like, it's what you're going to do. So that way, you hold them accountable to a role, even. Your role is just not that. Listen, it's about being a star in your role, you know, because at the end of the day, you got to be a star in your role. It's not about how many points you score because I really believe when you, uh, you, you, you're you on a talented team, you're going to have to sacrifice points. But you're going to have your days where points will be there. But at the end of the day, you have to be a star in your role. So if your role is to defend and hit open threes, well, you defend and hit open threes because one day we might need you to hit five, six of the, of the open ones. It might be a day that you're just going to defend and only might only have to hit two or make the extra pass because another person wide open for three. So it's just that, you know, being able to sacrifice, being able to understand that at the end of the day, we all got to be accountable to to one another. And that, that's the biggest that's the biggest part of it, this picture to be able to be a winner. Now, brother Dante, I know this is hard for you guys now in the swag for scheduling, especially after y'all beat some power five last year. So 
how was it being when you went over 20 games and dudes not want to want to play you this year? Trying to you get the schedule get, 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 get together, my brother. Hey, we was out in August scheduling games out in August. I'm like, man, I ain't never took this long to schedule again. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, you know, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a compliment to the program on, on one end of it. The tough part of it is we're not playing a lot of regional games because a lot of people know 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 about the situation we got going on. So now we gotta go, you know, far, far away just to have a game. Like we playing Washington State. Like, sheesh, Washington State. But hey, it is what it is. You know, we gotta go up there, figure it out, and kind of just go go make the best of it. No doubt, brother. But little brother Dante, man, we'll have to show my brother. Good to see you at late point as well. And uh, I'll be cheering for you as always, brother. And I, and I hope to see you in Birmingham raising that title, man, going to the big dance, my brother. Hey, listen, you know, that's a, that's that's one of my things. You know, I done came, you know, you know, we'd have been at Grambling six seasons, and I feel like we accomplished a lot, but we haven't accomplished that. So mission still not complete. Hey, it'll be a good, hey, that'll be your gift to me, man. That's my, 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 my birthday, my brother. So you got to get, win that title. <laughs> my God, man, it'd be fun to get where you boy, where you boy, man. <laughs> no, no, man, I can handle that. <laughs> no, no, hey, brother. Good to see you and talk to you as always, my, my brother. Always, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. I see you, man. Take care.